Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 40649, the upscaled LEGO minifigure. This is a set that came out, I think, in 2023, and it comes with 654 pieces and retails for around $50 at the LEGO store. And I actually got this at the Mall of America, so I don't know if the pricing is different at different LEGO stores, but let's take a closer look at this. It looks super cool. Taking a look at the box art, this thing looks super cool with the upscaled minifigure on the front and a tiny one at the bottom to show like the normal version of a minifigure just for scale. And I really like the box art on this. I think the kind of Lego-y look works really well. This is not the first time they've done this, but I think it looks super cool. On the back, you can see some of the other features in the set, including a opening head to put the small minifigure in, which is a very weird feature. Kind of strange that it's like supposed to be his brain, but I'm curious to see how that works. And then beneath that, you can see some of the posability options for the minifigure. And then even beneath that, it shows what the minifigure will look like sitting. This looks super cool. I'm Like I said before, I'm really excited to kind of customize this, but I still think it'll look super cool the way it is built as well. The unboxing experience here will be pretty easy. Just slip this with the scissors. And once you have split the tape, you can now open the box like this by grabbing the side piece and pulling it open. Kind of like a treasure chest. It's a pretty interesting way of opening a Lego box, but on the inside you can see all the things that are included. So here is a look at everything included in the box. As you can see, there are five bags, but there are like three number one bags here. I don't know if you can tell, but this one on the top is a separate bag as well. So there's like three, there's a big one, a medium, and a small one. And there's two two bags and the rest there's only one of, but Pretty interesting bag storage. And then there's a piece right here for his top. And then we have the instruction manual. So here's what the set looks like when it's put together and all built. And I think it looks super cool. It is a lot bigger than the Lego minifigure and a lot bigger than I expected. And it has a lot of playability and movement on it. Let's take a closer look. One of the great posability features on the set are you can move the arms and the hands, which to be honest, the hands don't really look like Lego hands in my opinion. They seem like a little too, they have like sharp edges right here, which looks a little weird. I don't know how they'd really build it to look more accurate, but they do look a little strange to me. But you can twist them and move the arms like this. And there's some clever connection here to make the arms look like this. This doesn't really move. And then you can also move his top and have him sit like a normal Lego minifigure. The legs are also independent, which I think is super cool. Oh yeah, and that happens a lot, by the way. We haven't really got to loose parts, but... His legs do fall off all the time, which is really annoying. I don't know if I built it wrong. I don't think I did. It's just, it happens all the time. His legs just come off. So you kind of do have to be careful while like holding this minifigure that you don't grab him by the legs. I guess, well, probably the best place to grab him would be like right here where this connection is to make sure he doesn't fall apart. One of the greatest parts about the set is the head. The head can move and it moves pretty well. It is on like a joint, so it is like kind of clicking when you move it, but it does do 360 degrees spinning. And the hat design is kind of weird, to be honest. I don't really think it looks like a Lego hat. Like it kind of goes too far in the back. I'd prefer it be rounded here, but I don't really know how they could have done that either. But anyway, underneath the hat, there is actually, if, they, if this doesn't fall off, this is another weak part. There are actually a lot of weak parts on the set because it is so big and I bet Lego had to take a lot of like I don't know, stability, kind of, they had to let some of the stability go to make it look so accurate, but the hat is very loosely connected, so it'll fall off all the time if you pick it up from that, so it's kind of hard to get it on there. So with the hat stable, you're going to want to grab it right here and then lift up, and then you can see there's this little minifigure who's driving him in his sort of brain. And I think that's super cool because that means this thing is basically just a big Lego mech, and there are some gear designs in the back that make it look kind of cool. There are some joysticks as well. Taking a look at the cockpit piece, it is really nicely designed with some Technic pieces in the back. These are these gear pieces that kind of make it look like pistons, and I think that's a really nice detail. There are also some control panels and some, I don't really know what these are, probably more electronic stuff. And there are some of these levers that the minifigure can push forward. He can't really grab onto them, and they are very loosely connected, like I break them off all the time. There are a lot of loose parts on this set, but I can understand the other ones. I don't really understand why these are so loose on here. I feel like even if they had just like flipped this piece, it would have been more stable. I really don't know why that's so loose, but this is overall a very nice design. It is a four stud connection, so your minifigure will be very secure when he's in the cockpit. Taking a look at the minifigure in this set, there is only one. And for a $50 set, that isn't the best, but I don't think it matters in this set. I mean, you really only need one, and I think it would have been fine without 
one if they hadn't included that cockpit piece, but I'm glad they did. And this is just the downscaled version of him, which I think is a super nice inclusion. My one problem with this minifigure is I just feel like if they hadn't used the baseball hat element for like the hat on the upscaled Lego minifigure and this minifigure here, it would have just been a lot easier to design the whole set. Like I feel like they could have used the construction worker hat. I'm not really sure. I just feel like the baseball cap, it'd be really hard to do in upscaled. And you can kind of see that with the upscaled Lego minifigure, like you can see him in the back there. The hat is really different, like especially on the sides over here. That's not really what the hat looks like. And I just feel like it would have been a lot easier to do a different hat. Although it would have been very hard no matter what they chose. So I don't know. I'm not like a Lego designer, so I don't know why they chose that, but I feel like it might have been better if they hadn't done that. But overall, this minifigure is super cool, just the basic smiley face. Something interesting you can do with this Lego upscaled minifigure is you can actually flip his hat around and give him like the cool reverse baseball cap look. I think it looks really good except for like the hinges right here and the base stud look, making it look a little bit ugly. But that's understandable because Lego didn't really design it to be this way, so I think it's fine. Taking a look at stickers and prints, underneath the helmet there are a bunch of prints. There are no stickers in the set. All these control panels are actually printed, which is amazing. I think some of these might be unique, they might not be, but kind of annoying when in LEGO Star Wars just like really simple control panel pieces are stickers when you just got like three, I guess two unique ones. This is a very common Star Wars one, but it's just interesting how they'll include printed control panel pieces in a set like this, but they won't in LEGO Star Wars. I don't know, it might just be like they don't have designs for them, but I feel like they should include more printed control panel pieces for LEGO Star Wars, not just special sets like this. The only other printed piece in this set is the LEGO face, which I think is amazing. Like, LEGO deserves a lot of praise for this, for not making this a sticker. Like, this would have been a really bad sticker to apply, and also, like, if you mess it up, you kind of ruined your whole set, to be honest. So, great job, LEGO, for printing this. Like, they didn't make it a clear sticker. They could have done that to avoid discolorment, but they made it a print. So, great job, LEGO. That's, that's awesome that you did that. So, overall, I think this set is an 8 out of 10. It's a really great set. I bought this at the Mall of America, so it might be an exclusive set. I'm not sure. But I know that's the only time I've ever seen it. I don't think you can buy it in Target and stuff. So that kind of makes it less of an appealing set because you have to kind of go out of your way to get it. Although I think it's cool LEGO made some sort of exclusive set. But actually looking at the design and rating it with that, I would say it is still an 8 out of 10 because it falls apart really easily. Like when I'm carrying it, sometimes the legs will fall off and the hat falls off all the time. Like it's a really weak connection. I don't know why they didn't do that better. It's kind of disappointing, but really if you're not moving that, moving it, it won't be a problem. And also I feel like the hands aren't the greatest. Some people probably will just say like, it's hard for Lego to get that shape down. I don't know, it just kind of bothers me. They just don't look the best. I don't really know how Lego could fix that. I just don't really like it. And also like, I don't know why they left this studded, the leg piece studded. I feel like it would have looked better like flat. And I feel like that could be something that could easily be done by someone who isn't Lego, like you could just take one out of your collection and do that, but still that kind of annoys me. And finally, the hat. This has been a really long rating, but I have a lot to say about the set. The hat, I feel like, is not the best. I feel like it could have been done better. So overall, it's an 8 out of 10. Other than that, it's a great set. I really like how Lego printed a bunch of the pieces in the set. It's a great idea, too. I mean, it's one of those sets that's like, you kind of have to ask yourself, why am I getting this? Because, like, did, what's the point of it? I just, in my opinion, I think it looks really cool. Like, it's, it's definitely a display set, so if you're buying this, you're going to display it, and you can customize it, so I think it's an 8 out of 10 set overall. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of set number 40649, the upscaled LEGO minifigure. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.